Hello. I'm going to talk to you about how to build a portable stress environment, which is basically a confined space simulator, but you can use it for a lot more than that, and how to do it for less than $325. Now what we're talking about is a tool, a tool for teaching. So this is a 296 cubic foot confined space with 132 square feet of floor space, basically composed of two 10 by 3 by 3 corridors, and one six by twelve by three chamber. And the idea is that this is a space that you can use to teach in that plays to people's stresses and forces them out of their environmental comfort zone. Now, the first question I often get when I put together something like this is why? And the answer is sort of multifold. Obviously, anything that you can do that engages students in a way that they've not previously been engaged is useful. And so while we talk in EMS about the fact that we can intubate upside down, in a ditch, under a car, in the rain, the fact is we rarely do that. Most of what we do in EMS is done in fairly conventional environments. So this creates an unconventional environment. It's also useful if you're actually teaching a bit about confined space rescue because it gives the environment. But most of all, if you can get a student to do this because they're so excited about what they're about to do in that space, then you have succeeded. So what does it take to build this? Well, for the tool that I'm describing, you need 21 10 foot by one and a half inch, 330 PSI, schedule 40 PVC pipes. And so eight of those 10 footers are going to be intact. You're going to divide eight into six foot, three foot, and one foot segments. And the one foot segments you're not really using, but you can scatter them throughout the interior to create debris. Uh, you can keep them aside and as you build new and different configurations, use them. Uh, you've then got four 10-foot pipes divided into three, three-foot and one one-foot segments each, and then one 10-foot divided into one three-foot segment and one seven-foot segment. And that seven-foot segment, again, you're not using it specific to this, but that's just the way the pipes come and how you cut them. You need pipe junctions, and these are 1.5-inch PVC pipe junctions. So you're going to need 12 three-way connectors, four four-way connectors, two five-way connectors, four T connectors, and two 90 degree elbow fittings. And then you're going to need 104 inch ball bungee loops. And why 100 of them? Chances are good you're not going to use all 100, but the price difference between buying in bulk 100 at a time versus buying 50 or 60 of them is considerable. And they're just handy to have around for packing things up. You'll need three 10 by 12 uh, tarps. I like black because they block out the light. I like 11 to 12 mil tarps because they're nice and thick. And um, you can use whatever you want. Those are just my preferences. And then one 15 by 20 black tarp. Same uh, 11 to 12 mil. So what does this cost? On 11 16 16, looking at the Home Depot's web page, the if you buy more than 15 of those lengths of pipe, it's $5.98 per length, 21 pipes, that's $125.58. The junctions, there's lots of places that sell this stuff. Uh, GreenhouseMegastore.com is one where they have everything that I needed to do this. So you've got your three-way, your four-way, your five-ways, your elbows, and your T's. And you can see what the various prices are on those. The five ways are obviously the most expensive, um, but none of them is terribly expensive. And again, you could go just do an internet search and you will find, just look for greenhouse PVC fittings. You will find lots and lots of sellers. Pick the one that you like the best. You may find better prices than this. Tarps and bungees, this is from tarpsonline.com. I got no connection to that site. They just happen to have all the tarp sizes that I liked. Uh, but you can look anywhere for tarps. 
pull your own tarps out. Use stinky, dirty tarps as long as they are fairly light blocking. Whatever you have works and whatever stress environment you can create is fine. Uh, so here are your three tarps and your bungee pack and that's what uh, that's what your prices are so when we put them all together pipes are 125.58 the junction 65.32 99 dollars for the tarps 25 bucks for the bungees and all total 314 dollars and 90 cents to create that two 10 by uh 10 by three by three corridors and one 12 by six by three chamber and of course you can add more corridors you can buy some other types of junctions that let you make Y so you can have branching corridors with chambers off of them um, you can actually buy 45 degree angles uh, that let you angle the drop the pipes down and drop your roof down so that you can make a crawl squeeze so drop your roof from three feet to two feet or even to one foot and that creates a whole new squeeze you may need some other junctions to do that you may need more tarps uh, but the fact is is that none of that stuff's expensive you can keep kind of a pile of the junction fittings around and for under five hundred dollars you can have a ridiculous maze of of tarps and pipes and you can put innovation mannequins or IV mannequins or medical assessment mannequins or real live humans to be assessed uh, or a rescue mannequin in there and force your students to have a very different experience from what they get outside of a confined space. So what I want to do next is basically take you on a walk through the simulator.